just got back from hunting figures. Shopping bags pretty fine, bitches. Filters call, got a pickup figures. Look at me, I'm a geek, tripping. Future waves, I will be copping. Come check me, you know I got it. Figure what? Small from legends, dudes doing them reviews, fella. What's going on? It's your boy, that was dude. And you know I got it, so subscribe. What's going on? It's your boy that was due today. We're doing another action figure review today. We're gonna be looking at my custom Marvel Legends style Dark Phoenix figure. I made this myself. I made this myself. I made this myself. <laughs> it's not much, but it's something. This was a light, light little repaint. I had to take it. I had to take the figure apart. This is actually a Miss Marvel from the Target 3 pack that came with Captain America and Radioactive Man. Um, and the head is, a, of course, Tundra, if you don't know. Uh, what I just did was I took it apart, sand, shaved down all the joints to avoid the paint rub, and just repainted this figure red and gold, pretty much. And I, this sash is actually from the Odin figure Captain Marvel. So I used that. I'm actually working on another Phoenix, a good version, but I don't have the green color right now, so I'm thinking about going white. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments below. Should I go white or buy the emerald looking green and just go with the classic look? Um, this figure was a pain in the ass because, not because of the sanding. Oh, no, actually, this is a spider woman. You can't tell by the arm. I got to fill the holes in. I use this for spider a spider woman. This was actually going to be, um, I think this was going to be a, a Wolverine, Marvel Now Wolverine, and, um, I ran out of yellow, and then I decided to go with the Hellcat, so I went, I did this myself. So this is not, um, three-pack Miss Marvel repaint, this is actually the Spider-Woman. Anyway, with that being said, uh, I used a Blob Wave movie phoenix for the hands but <clears throat> when i took when i was taking the figure apart the hinges kept snapping so you can't notice she has a pin and in both her wrists and she has a pin in her ankle which why that's why it looks swollen compared to that one but you know this work this figure took a lot of modding took a lot of modding a lot of sand work and uh, I got it done. I did everything freehand. I painted the hair brighter red. I paint. This was initially like a burgundy, but I didn't like the way it came out. So I went. I went with the same red that I used for the hair. I used the antique gold for the boots, the gloves, the sash. Really liked the way it came out. I colored Thunder's eyes in. Cause I I really feel like a lot of people said that the head looks big, but we all know Phoenix has wild hair, so. Of course, the head should look big. So, let's just say, the head looks big, but it's because of the hair. You know what I mean? That's why I did that. I shaved the hair down on the side so it could fit better on the peg. And it works very well. <clears throat> Looks good, man. When I saw That's the first thing I saw when I saw Thundras. When I got my Thunder, I was like, ooh, Jean Grey. Phoenix. So, that's why I used the Blob figure. Jean Grey hands because she was the Dark Phoenix in that in that figure. It was a rendition of it. So I feel I feel like it worked. You know? It went. So I, I chose that. I love the way it did, man. I love the way it came out. I painted the eyes a varied color or white. As you can see. <coughs> I went in, man. I did I did everything. Um, as far as articulation, the head moves a little bit like that side to side. No pivoting, nothing like that. I'm going to take this off so you can see a better picture of the Phoenix. I know it's a, it should be bigger. It should be like down to here. But I didn't want to risk it looking funny. I should have tried it in the first place. But it's pretty much freehand. I did everything freehand. This was all freehanded work. You can see right there. <clears throat> um, she has bulge on her shoulders. Bicep swivel, single jointed elbow with an elbow swivel, 
She has a wrist swivel and a hinge, so it goes forward and back. She got the upper diaphragm joint. Gives us a lot of movement. Her legs go out that much. She has an upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees. Her ankle pivots down, up. She got the pivot. Again, I like the way it came out. A lot of people complain saying that um, the head looks too big. But again, if you look at any picture of the Dark Phoenix, her hair is wild all over the place. Therefore, I feel like this look works. You don't have to like it. I like it, and that's what matters to me because this is my personal figure. Hope you guys like it. If you don't, it's okay. We all have our preference. So that's the review. Hit the like button if you're feeling it. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. Like my Facebook page. Follow my Instagram and Twitter. You already know. It's your boy that was due. And I'm out.